Uh, hello and welcome to Inc. for Website and Blog Traffic. Growing your traffic organically can feel painfully slow, especially in the early months or even years that you are trying to build a business online. It is not uncommon for people starting out to have only a couple of real website hits a day, or even none at all as they are just beginning. You have put a lot of effort into building your website or blog site or your YouTube channel or podcast channel for that matter, and nobody is paying any attention to you. So you start to look for ways to get traffic to your sites by paying for it. But is it worth it to spend money to get the traffic to your site? It is a complex question with several variables to it. For example, do you have the funds available or a budget available that you are willing to spend to get people to come to your site? Do you want the traffic badly enough that you are willing to pay the money to get the people there? Do you have a site that has sufficient products of interest to people that you can honestly expect that when they get there, enough will purchase something to pay for the advertising costs you've just spent? How soon do you have to start making money from your site? Is speed of conversion an issue for you? Do you care who shows up, or are you just looking for volume? These are questions only you can answer for yourself, and it depends on why you built your site and what you're trying to do with it. Organic growth takes time to build. You have to grind it out over time, being willing to actively promote your site and regularly build content in order to start getting some of the numbers. A snowball effect can possibly take place this way at some time in your future, but it is also painful working at promoting your site. Regularly building content and backlinks, commenting in forums and guest posting in other sites, etc., all trying to increase your numbers. It is hard work, but you have to do it to get the kind of traffic and followers that will stay with you over time. Did I say stay with you? Yes. Something you need to realize up front. To get people to regularly come to your site again and again, you either have to build personal relationships with them, or you have to have content and value on your site that keeps them coming back to you and telling your friends about you. Paying for traffic will get someone to your site once. But will they come back of their own accord once they have been there? That is what you're wanting to achieve or you will be forever spending your money to get your visitors on the site. But having said all this, to make you aware, let's look at some of the better ways to get people to your site. Note, I am assuming that you will be building appealing landing pages for their arrival and that these pages will have some form of email capture form on them to try to get them to subscribe to you before they leave. Don't even think about spending money to bring them to your site if you don't have this in place yet, unless your name happens to be Amazon or eBay. Get the maximum value for the money you spend to pay for getting people to your site. So here are some good pay for traffic ideas. Create YouTube promotional or how-to videos with links to your site and promote them on YouTube. This is a very cheap form of advertising. You can get the word out with an upfront video sales pitch included at two cents a video view, so 50 watch promotional views only costs you about a dollar. Check out a site called AdFly, that's ADF.ly. If you just want high volume for cheap money, you can get 1,000 hits to your site for five seconds each between about 40 cents and five dollars, depending which countries you choose to get them from. How good your landing page is will depend on whether or not you keep their attention, as they are most likely people involved in some sort of deal where they are viewing dozens of sites to earn a penny or two in income. Not exactly a targeted viewing audience. But you can get them to your site for the few seconds guaranteed. For example, the other day on this site, I spent $8 as a test on a global 40 cents per thousand deal they had going. I got about 20,000 people to my site, resulting in seven signups for my newsletter. If you want good quality, targeted leads to your site and are willing to pay 50 cents or more to get each one, Facebook boost posting is the best game in town. You can narrow down your leads to gender, age range, demographic, and even geography. You can get exactly the kind of person in the location you want to your site, but you will be paying for it. Next, try writing an ebook. Get it on Amazon Kindle and either give it away or give it away cheap enough that it can get into the Kindle KDF program. Be sure to put links to your site in the book. You can then promote your book through Amazon at low cost, make sales revenue from your book as well, which may cover your advertising costs and maybe even earn you some extra revenue and get leads to your site at the same time.
Twitter advertising is doable as well, but I have found them to be very expensive for what you get. Facebook and YouTube are much more preferred. Google AdWords needs to be mentioned as well, an important option as Google has the largest search engine in the world and you can specifically target keywords and keyword phrases to bring people to your site. Your options for keywords and keyword phrases are endless, and if you do your research, you can get good quality leads to your site at reasonable cost. Although you will often find yourself bidding for advertising placement on search result pages against other advertisers. One important notice you need to be aware of. If you are running an AdSense enabled website or blog site, do not run paid traffic at it. You could lose your AdSense privileges with Google as running paid traffic to your site goes directly against their agreement rules under the contract you signed. Be aware of this restriction. People have lost their AdSense accounts with Google because of this. What I have done is create one site that is not Google AdSense enabled and I sometimes run paid traffic against it. And my other primary site, which is AdSense enabled, does not get paid traffic to it. I grow that one organically. A strategy that can work for you is to run paid traffic against one site and have it contain a number of links across to your other AdSense site at key points so that you can get the best of both worlds without putting your business and relationship with Google at risk. There are numerous sites and offerings out there promoting traffic to your sites and you can explore them as you desire. Trial and error over time and research will help you to find out what works and what does not. If you're in this for the long haul, over time, you will develop the best traffic generation models that fit your business. Bye for now.